Okay, good morning. Good morning. It is Friday, 1st of June. Mm. Happy wedding anniversary, Susanna and Kenneth. Yes. yes. Happy wedding anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was actually three months ago we left our house. So, uh, Feels like three weeks. Yeah, I went quick. But, uh, luckily we've got uh, nine more of those. So, <laughs> yes. But um, got a couple of questions as well this morning from Neil and Diane, They're my friends of my my um, dad in England, and they was asking if Jamie has any school homework yes. to do over the way. That's a good question. It's, um, in Denmark, you're actually allowed to take your children out of school, but it's our responsibility to educate him. So uh, that's not too difficult, really. Just fill in a piece of paper, say that. Uh, He's not going to be in school the next year, and it's our responsibility now. So we did that. That didn't take long, five minutes. But uh, officially, he doesn't get any, any homework from school. Uh, not officially, but we're actually quite lucky because Jamie's school teachers are, are very, very good and kind. And he actually gave Jamie some school books to take along. Yes. And Jamie has his uh, iPad with him. And uh, when we get to a place where there's internet, Jamie can um, connect to his school's... Uh, internet site and they, he can do his homework and his teacher can actually check his homework. Yes. So, uh, so Jamie's actually been doing that whenever we get the chance, whenever we have a free, a free day where we're not biking or something or we've got some spare time in the tent, he does that. But, uh, but apart from that, Jamie's learning from the world, as you've seen. Yes. He likes to talk to people, he's not scared to go and ask people what they're doing and learn and speak and play with people and children. Yes, and but, he takes uh, a lot of notice when we visit uh, historical places. Yeah. He learns a lot from that as well. Yeah, if you notice when we was in Greece and the uh, first part of the tour and also in Turkey, there's a lot of historical sites we visited. So we learn from those and we learn about religion um, on the way. We learn about geography every day. Yes. He speaks English every day. A little bit of Turkish now. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I can say um, be. Uh, now I'm counting to uh, five. Yeah, in Turkish. Yeah. <laughs> Bia, Ike, Uch, Dirt, Bish. Yes, yeah? very good. So, so the uh, official answer is no, he doesn't have any official homework, but he does homework, yeah, as much as we can. So, uh, yeah. And uh, yeah. second question was from Alison in Chicago. Hi, Alison again. She was asking what we do with the internet. Um, because you can see today we are 1,800 meters up in the mountain. Here there's actually no internet wall. There is internet. There's a, I have a, bought a Turkish SIM card when I came to Turkey. So we have four gigabytes of data on that. So whenever we're in a place where there's internet, there's 3G and there's 4G most places. Here there's hardly anything. There's an E, which is the lowest form of internet which uh, means we basically can check emails, that's about it, but I can't upload videos. That's why sometimes the videos don't come out of the tent at night time, they come out next day during lunchtime if we get to a coffee shop or anywhere, or I get to a place where there's 3G or 4G. Which is like the video we made yesterday, that, that'll go out later this afternoon somewhere when I can see there's internet. But uh, I have uh, internet on the telephone. I bought four gigabytes of data, when that runs out I buy four gigabytes more. So. So far I've all topped it up in Konya and I'll probably have to top it up again in a few weeks, but we'll see. But then, yeah, of course, if you're in a hotel, there's a internet, Wi-Fi, we use that. And uh, any restaurants, coffee shops, yes. we use the internet there, so... Yes. Yeah, we use whatever we can. Yes. But, uh, that's uh, the two questions we have this morning. Now we'll uh, get back to where we want to try and do a little bit more biking today than yesterday. We only did 30 kilometers yesterday because we were stuck in the tent. But, uh, but luckily we managed to do something anyway and turn up in a nice place here, so... Uh, I was very lucky that it was dry when we were sitting up, so the tent could actually dry out before we went to bed. So yeah, that was really yeah. lucky. Yeah. Not so nice sleeping in a damp tent, but uh, we was okay yesterday. Yes. Okay, we'll uh, get packed away and get on the road. Today we've got some nice mountains to look at. That should be nice. The uh, road looks a bit challenging ahead, so... Uh, should uh, make some nice pictures, so... Um, We'll see you on the road. Okay, we just packed away before the rain starts. That was good today. So we've got to carry a happy wet tent all day. So yeah, we'll just make our way back up to the road there. And uh, we'll be 
climbing this mountain today. Okay, yet another mountain to climb in the rain. Seems to be all these, all the largest of the mountains we've climbed so far in Albania and Turkey is with rain. So this one is no different. So we just have to climb to the top of this 2,000 meters and we should be going down again. Maybe 220 kilometers from here. Let's see how long this rain lasted, it was just a show. It's not cold though. We're just considering just biking with our normal tops on and forget the rain jackets because sometimes you sweat more with the rain jacket on than without it. So, yeah. And we'll just enjoy another mountain in the rain. Okay, just approaching the summit. 2,190 meters. I think that's the highest we've been so far. So, I've got to go down again. Down the other side. Three. This time's meta. It's new on one each. Let's have a look what's happened here. Oh yes, nice big nail in the tire house screw. And okay. Again on top of a hill, and Andrew and Jamie was just 100 meters in front of me, and I was shouting stop as loud <laughs> as I could. They didn't hear nothing. They just kept on down the hill. Yeah. So they just had to bike up an extra kilometer up the hill for them. That's okay. Let's get it fixed then, so we get going again. Okay, now Andrew are fixing mom's bike. The wheel are broken because there was a big uh, screw, screw? screw in mom's uh, tire and you can just see it here. You can see the screw, where are the screw? Um, That's the a big one. Okay, actually we are soaking red. You can see here I'm soaking red. But we have some cookies, you can see. So uh, this gives us some a little bit smile on our face because it's good some to have some cookies. So Daddy and Mom, would you have some cookies? Yes, please. Yeah, we are soaking wet. Mom's trousers are soaking wet. Yeah. It look like a the, the screw. This is a big screw, you can see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the other side, it looked like that. And now Daddy is taking the screw up. Okay, now we are finished with the puncture. So now we are just take all the things on the bikes. And so we are ready to come down of this big downhill. And Mommy is freezing. Uh -huh. Totally. Bike up. Yeah. To warm up. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and okay, it's actually raining at the same time as we're fixing the picture. Yes. <laughs> so it will be a little bit bitter. It was sunny when we have a puncture, but now it's rainy. Yeah. But it's now it's not. It's stopped now. We're yeah. finished. Yeah. It's stopped now. So. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So. I think. Yeah. And so we are going. Okay. Yeah, okay. Bye bye. Starting to warm up again now after getting quite cold on top of the mountain there, fixing the tire. We've come down now, I'm coming down for what, 15 kilometers or something like that. Starting to warm up now. here for lunch and yet again you can see very dark thunder clouds we have to get away from once again hopefully the 
Luckily the wind is blowing. I'm in front of us so it hopefully we'll bike away from it. Let's see if we can. Oh, dry weather didn't last long. Now it's time for biking in the rain. <laughs> In the afternoon as we enter the town here. Awesome. Shopping here for this evening, I think. Okay, now it's been raining for the past hour and a half. No sign of it letting up at the moment. Oh, you know, a bit miserable weather at the moment. So, I just saw only 71 to Essington, that's going quite well. Uh, should be there tomorrow by the looks of it. There's actually snow on the side of the road here. This is a storm just come through this area. Looks like we're lucky, should be coming through just a bit of rain. Okay, so this is the campsite today, up on the hill here. I think the weather looks nice now, but today's been probably one of the most challenging days we've had for a long time. We've been cycling this afternoon in, I don't know, two hours of rain. You can see even now, it's wet everywhere. We managed to find a space here which is pretty dry. We've got the tent up and now we're trying to get some dry clothes on. How's it going in there? Enjoy from here. And yeah. Jamie's got plastic bags on his feet so all our feet are wet today. Yeah, so we need, we actually use this uh, feet and uh, to uh, take a plastic bag and so you take uh, your shoes on and so it's help because so it's not so wet your shoes are not so wet so you cannot feel it so much yeah. so yes do that but one day maybe it's your jogging shoes are wet or some or football shoes take some take some here um, yeah. plastic black bags and take it under in your, in your shoes, shoes. That's because we've only got one pair of shoes, and so now mine are completely soaking wet. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a tough day today. But now we found a good place to camp here. We're all nice and dry. So, let's. Uh, I'll get the cookie going, and uh, I've got some soup today. That was quite funny. We bought soup today on a cold day, so we'll have some soup and uh, try and get warmed up in the tent. Sound like a good idea? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>